insecure surrounding, we need secure premises, we need secure practices that our people will be engaging in. Therefore, it is important. So, on our speaker, this bill comes in to basically clean an otherwise not so clean industry, not so clean sector, and therefore it will help us a great deal. The issue of um, uh, the, the young people not engaging in gambling. On our speaker, I think as we move on, we will basically be looking at how else can we adjust or repeal or amend this uh, the legislation so that we are able to make, make sure that our uh, age does not end on to gambling so that people can get more serious in their work and move on as it was. So I'm on our speaker, those uh, very few remarks I wish to support. Thank you. Followed by I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity to join my colleagues on this discussion about gambling. Mr. Speaker, from the definition in the bill, gambling is a game of chance. Mr. Speaker, it includes a game of chance for the purpose of making a price or winning money. And it includes lottery, price competition. It also includes media promotions with a price. From that definition, Mr. Speaker, it becomes a legal gaming activity. But Mr. Speaker, the way many Kenyans understand gambling, it is a very negative game. But I think we need to come out from that school of thought that uh, we cannot demonize gambling because it has certain benefits, even though there are also some cons with it. Mr. Speaker, this bill has brought forth the benefits which includes generation of income, development of infrastructure, because where this gambling activity will take place will bring in infrastructure, it will also cause employment, it will also cause distribution of income not forgetting it is going to enhance development, uh, increase in income. Mr. Speaker, this bill has brought a section that is going to concern on operations, including the, the setting of regulations to govern this game or business. It also, Mr. Speaker, going to establish an authority that is going to oversee this sector. The bill has also brought in the terms and conditions on licensing, and it also has brought forth the relationship between the national government and the county government. Mr. Speaker, that framework of my statement indicates that now the government is ready to bring formality and control of this game of chance. Mr. Speaker, we all know for a couple of years now, the game of gambling has been misused by both the merchants and the players. Mr. Speaker, we have seen and witnessed influx of gambling machines, cheap gambling machines which have been installed illegally in many shops, bars, and the restaurants. It's a free for all. I know of business people who are involved in the importation of those machines, and they were cheaply brought in and being bought or installed on higher purchase terms 
to local bars, even within the localities of mosques, localities of churches, localities of schools, enticing young people and low income earners to enter the game of chance, gambling. Mr. Speaker, and join other members to say yes, time has come now for the government not only to make money through gambling, but also to regulate the sector. It is common sense. It's a big business in the U.S. I had the opportunity of, being at Le of going to Las Vegas. And we saw a city in almost every stage or building or hotel. They allow gambling machines. And the conduct of the gamblers, the conduct of the merchants, is highly professional. Mr. Speaker, if we can able to do that, it means we will be able to generate income. We should go to one's various activities of our society. Mr. Speaker, there is no business that does not have casualties and negatives. But if a business is generating income, and that general income can be brought, brought back to the society. Mr. Speaker, it's a good business. I'm more worried, Mr. Speaker, on the implementation and enforcement. I've seen there's a section, the national government will set the policy framework, which is very good, but now the enforcement is the county government. Mr. Speaker, as you know, we are having serious problems of drugs in this country. The national government is learning an initiative. The county government are the ones that issue licenses. This bill needs to be very clear because in as much as we are saying it has benefit and it's a good thing to do, the biggest problem will be how it will be enforced. With the problem of corruption in this country, with the problem of no clear cut systems at the county level, in the, in the circumstances of lack of commitment, we will can legalize a business it becomes a threat to our young people, our young children, our young youth, because it's a shortcut to making money. I therefore would like to state that if this is not properly handled, it might cause more harm to our society. And I applaud the countries where gambling is not allowed, because I think people are forced to work. It's a challenge to us that we should not create another shortcut for people not to work, for people not to become innovative, for people not to go to school to take shortcuts in life. But all in all, let me state that if really the implementation of this bill is going to be very effective, then it's a good thing. The issue of tax. This is a sin tax. I will not agree with the committee on sports to reduce the tax. In any case, I think it needs to be increased. It needs to be increased. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. The Honorable Member of Parliament for Bondo, followed by the Honorable Woman Rep for Kriniaga, Jerry Maina. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to bring two critical basic principles. The first principle is why do we make laws? 